Yo, welcome to Dessert in the Desert. I am your hostess with the mostest, the big guy Ryback. That's the radio. We're going to turn down this air a smidge. And it's another scorcher here, 106 still at 7.30 uh, p.m., 106 degrees Fahrenheit at 7.30 p.m. And I had to make a quick run. I've been going. It's This is a Sunday for me. And uh, I was talking to some people. And they, they, and it seems to be a common theme whenever I talk to people. They go, do you ever like just take time off? And I got to thinking about it. And I realized that ever since I left WWE, I've not gone on one vacation. I've not done anything but work. And... I have to explain to people, I go, what I'm trying to do and what I left and get my health back, there ain't no fucking vacation. The vacation is when I get the drugs before the stem cell procedures. And uh, and I would also, I'm not to say you know, it's balanced, and I've, I have such a great time doing like, look at what I'm doing right now. I'm fucking, okay, good humor, Reese's. This is the Good Humor Bar, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter uh, Swirl Frozen Peanut Butter Dessert Bars. There's six of these. I'm going to eat all six of these in my fucking vehicle outside my house right now. Is this work? Technically, yes. This is work because it goes, everything is tied in. Everything I do is tied in to feed me more nutrition. All of it. Every social media platform, every marketing thing, this, everything. But at the end of the day, I'm sitting in my vehicle in my driveway eating six fucking good humor bars. That's not a horrible time. Life doesn't suck. And I know there's going to be a few people that go like, man, this guy fell hard. And they can say that all day long. <laughs> because I'm laughing. I'm laughing my ass off. Um, and they're also fucking really stupid. <laughs> because they have no clue what's really going on. But, uh... Anyways, guys, a dessert in the desert here. And let's just get right to this. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about you. I know I really do care about you. We like hearing you talk right back. I know. I know. Some people don't, so. Which they could just fast forward to the point of me eating. And then fast, if I start talking, like, shut up! And just go forward a little bit. But they don't. They complain about it. And we mute them. I have nothing to drink. I wasn't planning on doing this in the car, and I just said, you know what? What better way to eat these than in the car? I got a big fast coming up. It's going to be anywhere between 24 and 36 hours. I am going to have a bottle of wine after this, and uh, that will be my chill out. I always try to have a little bit of a red wine before I go into my fast. I mean, look at this fucking, fucking jacked. I did arms today. I also burned my hand, guys. I'll tell you about that in a bit. So cold, it hurt my teeth. It usually doesn't happen. This is cold, though. Mmm. Peanut buttery. I need a Luckily I gotta feed me more nutrition color here. Wow, that looks good. Speaking of which guys, I'm just pulling these bars out so I can put the trash in the box like a loser. This is really pathetic. What a piece of shit. We are giving away Feed Me More Nutrition, the premium towels with the new logo. And you get a free premium shaker bottle and a workout towel with all orders for free. We're also doing our $750 giveaway that you can enter until this Friday. So if you guys haven't got on that, get the fuck on that. And three months of ISO Hungry Protein, which are peanut butter pieces, is shipping out this week. Tastes just like this, seriously. Mm. 
Oh, that would have been great to have a peanut butter shake with this. Feed my muscles the protein that it needs and then just eat this like an asshole. Going right to my arms. A little secret for all you weightlifters out there. I've really been applying this and it's working really, really well. You probably are noticing how juicy I'm looking. I've been doing three second squeezes, sometimes five on every rep of every set. I'm noticing a difference almost immediately. For a seasoned weightlifter like me, look, my face even looks fucking younger. I don't know what it, just something about squeezing the muscle. Get a hell of a pump doing that too. Such a better way than taking Pump Plex City with a oh shit. Pump Plex City with it? Oh my God. Mm. I haven't had ice cream like this since, I mean, forever. Not counting like the shakes, but I'm talking about like an ice cream bar. Oh, I'd like to try those WWE bars just so I can give it a shit review. I would like to go on a vacation though. Everything with Sophie though, it's a little tough. I went to Columbia though for my stem cells. I mean, I got to spend a week in Columbia, hung out with Kevin Nash all week, laughed my ass off. Got a great dose of drugs for the stem cells. Fucking amazing dosage of drugs. I tell you, Colombian women too. Holy hell. I can see. I didn't see an ugly woman down there the entire time. The entire medical staff. The entire medical staff. All good looking. How does that happen? entire fucking place is just beautiful. God, I wish I was in Columbia. I'd have 18 children easily if I spent a year there. 18 at least. I'd be fucked. I'd be wrestling until I was Ric Flair's age. Just fucking broken down, coming out in a wheelchair. Bah. Probably will anyways, but devoted four years to get my health back to go back and fuck myself up again. Oh, I'll be a miserable prick if that happens. I'll still be positive, but I'll be a miserable prick. But fuck, then if I have 18 children too? Holy shit. And all my dogs? I fucking started OnlyFans. Posing nude in a wheelchair and shit pay the bills and my kids I already know the curse because I know my kids if I have them they're gonna they're gonna eat me they're gonna eat me they're gonna eat me to my death I already know it I, I come from a family of eaters long line of generation after generation just fucking feeders back to the Neanderthal days they were the fucking our fucking I'm positive my fucking family was responsible for their fucking feeding everyone because they loved food so much. The hunters and gatherers. I'd probably have a really fat kid too. Wouldn't listen to me. Fucking would think I'm dumb as shit. Just be, look like sloth from, look like the fucking chunk from fucking Goonies. I'd still love the shit out of him. But, fuck. He wanted, I'd be trying to feed him protein powder and fucking broccoli and he'd tell me how fucking shitty my supplements are. It'd be, that'd be, that'd be my luck. I'd have a smoking hot daughter. I already know the daughter would be hot as fuck. And they, wait, can I say that? You know what I mean though, like to other guys. And then I'm going to have to deal with that whole shit. 
of being like the dad that got like, the fucking his daughters out there whoring it up. I don't even know about it. I'll just stick to Frenchies and Boston's. I think it's much safer, especially with the way the world's going. They can't get COVID either. I tell ya. Good dessert bar, dessert bar really put you in a good mood. That nuts all over me, as she said. All right. Wow. I ate an entire box of these. What a fat piece of shit. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, one bar is 180 calories, so that's not even that's not even my breakfast. I eat shit like 13, 1400 calories for my breakfast, and, and with all healthy vegetarian stuff. So done. All right, this was the good humor uh, frozen peanut butter dessert bar, the Reese's frozen peanut butter dessert bars, guys. I'm giving these out of five stars. I love peanut butter. These were absolutely, these were delicious. Um, I will say, I love the drumstick. I love drumsticks. Um, I haven't had those. Those used to be when I was younger. I used to cheat on, eat those all the time for a cheat day. I would have liked to have had a, a drumstick with these kind of I'm giving these 4.8 stars out of five, guys. Absolutely, just these tremendous. Those good humor folks. Outside of the WWE bars, if they are the one, I think they are the ones that make them. They make they make some good stuff that's horrible for human health, but tastes delicious. And uh, you know, yeah. Well, there you have it. All right. All right, guys, I got to go. I got to go drink my red wine, and uh, I got to actually, before I even drink the red wine, finish up on a couple things. So I thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to love and support me, you can go to my Patreon page for my Shooting Blanks S Wrestling Report and the Ryback Show. That's patreon.com backslash Ryback. That money's going to help with all the trademark stuff over there. Some people got really mad. And I by some, I think one or two left bad reviews on the show. And because the podcast, the Ryback show is free. That's on all podcast platforms. That's not that's not getting taken off that. That was the only show for the longest time. And I started doing two shows, and like double the work. And um, to do the wrestling report, the shooting blanks wrestling, wrestling report. And some people, a couple people on there are pissed that we're charging for the wrestling show now. And there's two tiers, $3 a month and $5 a month. And But you're getting you're getting two shows per week an hour, usually each show's an hour and change, or the wrestling report's about an hour, the other one's about an hour, hour and a half every week. But the audio's still free on the podcast platform, so we're not charging for that if you don't want that. But some people get mad, but because that stuff with the trademark's gonna be pretty expensive if it gets to that point. And uh, so we're just preparing, to get some people over there, turn it into another revenue stream because it's work and I don't I never we never I never did anything with the wrestling report anyways the ads and stuff that we sold were always for the other podcast I just did the wrestling report just so I can stay involved in the wrestling business and I feel like I give a very positive insight into the business um, to help explain things to people outside of and I don't want to talk about it, about people but so many people do wrestling things that have no clue about it and it's uh, and there's some that maybe do have a little bit of a clue, especially but mostly the wrestlers. Well, I would say primarily the wrestlers. Outside of there's a couple people that can get like numbers and stuff pretty decent, and that's about it. But their opinions on like the wrestling business is like they're negative and they talk shit about people. And I don't like that as a whole. I mean, we all judge and hate at different times, but it's just a different thing. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Patreon.com backslash Ryback. Thank you very much for watching and supporting here. Hopefully YouTube will start really getting these videos going again, doing just the food. And I got my Ryback TV uh, podcast 
uh, YouTube where we do podcast clips on on that still. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let's have a great week. Be gr uh, good human beings and uh, try to do our best, stay positive, and um, not let the news and shit get us down. Because I tell you, like in real life and stuff, everyone's pretty happy. Like, I, I, I never, man, real life is. It, it just, it, it really beats all this shit. And it's good for, you got to use it a little bit for entertainment and then get out in the real world and establish real connections and do things that make you feel better and improve your self-esteem. And uh, I promise you, I promise you, then you use social media for what it is and don't let it use you. Um, but if we get uh, caught up in just using it nonstop, um, before we know it, we'll blink and we'll be, we'll be old men and women and uh, have nothing to show for it. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. I'll shut the fuck up now. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks, wrestling report please support us over at patreon patreon.com backslash ryback we have two different tiers available over there for both those shows feed me more nutrition available on feedmemore.com and amazon all first time buyers can save 25 percent on the website with discount code save 25 and for all personal videos from yours truly cameo.com backslash the big guy ryback thank you guys again love you very much Get hungry, stay hungry, be more, feed me more.